You don't look like you know this path, Hunter. Seems you're a long way from anything. Where does this trail lead? For me, it leads south. Away from the Banuk. Past the Grave Horde. Banukai, watch over me. This is the quickest way out of the cut, instead of going all the way through Osaram territory. And take it from me. You want a quick way out of the cut. I haven't even arrived yet. Why would I want to leave? Strange machine attacks? A curse on the mountain? It's enough to make me look forward to Meridian. What kind of strange machines? And what kind of curse? Machines tougher and crazier than anything in the south, I heard. And smoke comes off the mountain like a funeral pyre all day and night. But like I said, I just pass through now. What sort of place is the cut? It's on the edge of everywhere. The edge of Bon Or, the edge of the mountains, the edge of other tribes' territories. It's suffered in the war with the Karja. But it suffered before that, too. Life there is a test to survive out on the edge. Not exactly homey. I can see why you'd want to move on. <laughs> Home is what you carry in a roll on your back. Well, thanks for the warning. I'm curious about these machines, though. And the warning rolled off you. I understand you adventurers are all alike. Good luck. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuke have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking. Rost used to tell me stories about the Banuke and their shamans, and how they thread blue cables through their skin. Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuke is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Mm, touchy.
Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village, too. Shaman has abandoned us. Our chieftain has led our best. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards so that smoke. many dead. At least we still have our time. You'd ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead, but not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The daemon that frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. 
And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Aurea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aurea vanished, I thought that Crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if our talk could tell me more about the Raya or Thunder's drum. Might be worth a shot. Have you heard the story of the Ravenous tribe? I do not want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. This daemon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines. Made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Aurea knows about this, Damon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not an outlander's. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. There are other Weraks in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own line for all Banuk who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, crickets that bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. The markings of a daemon don't scare me. I didn't become a hunter just to run from a challenge.
You'll find no glory here, Outlander. Only cold and death. I'd have to ditch something. Or scrubbing dyes. Or hunting. Painting, sir. When the old ones were fresh in their grave. No more music. Blood stop that. Or shall we overcome it? Okay. If I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Maria. To do that, I need to talk to her apprentice and follow the river north. Osaram tried to kill Hard the Junkers. Bergren said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully, not too far. That'll keep my stomach quiet. That must be Maltuk, flipping out about the tower. It looks like it's a horse or signal. Naltuk? Who are you? 
How did you find me? Vergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. I can kill the machines. But what about the tower? I might be able to destroy it. Or override it. The tower helps nearby machines, but it can be destroyed. Now we know how to deal with the machines and the towers. The daemon's next. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. 
You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. All right, I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Pretty far up. The shaman's path must be. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Wrong way. Dead 
sent. Glad at least they're stuck. Another marker. Good. Okay, that way then. Back after I grab this loot. Well, yep, this can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Done with the cave. So what's next on this path? This down, down it is. <laughs> There's the way up. the 
rope to move this thing into position. Okay, the bridge is filling up. wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. But I don't think it's friendly. Interesting. Maybe I could override it. doing this big boy.
Be able to get up there. This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. I can see why it's worth a lot. Naltuk said Aurea went past the shrine, up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. Ancient door. Maybe Aurea is inside. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Focus can help. Looks like the door's wired to something over here. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Well, that did something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? These things turn, changing the flow of light.
fresh air ahead. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. I need to get to those stairs. Higher to climb. Maria must be close. She has to be in here somewhere. Ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? you if you won't speak a whisper is all I ask to guide me who no how how did you get here the way was sealed by the spirit herself I I used one of these I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Sounds good, huh? But I'll bet the goal is the same. Get the light back to the source.
successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Unauthorized transmission. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is a You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... ...revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far... ...I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergen said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... ...done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. But it will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... ...I cannot do. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, Aratak won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. And Aratak couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <sighs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratak? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Weirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sekuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. But it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help, trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. <sighs> if you say so. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful.
did it take to knock one of those over? It's still functioning. If I could bring that tall neck back from the dead, they'd get noted, encased in ice. It fell a long time ago. But the scavengers have just gotten started. They're scared of me. of the scavengers. I should scan the tall neck. See how deep the damage goes. It looks like the scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even activate it. Get it what's inside its head.
Just go about your business.
again. Well, that hits. Sure hope it works. Well, it's in better shape than it was. Okay, I'm right. Just need to get the power flowing through it again. If I'm wrong, at least no one's watching. be able to jump onto the tall neck from here. Okay, time to climb up to its head.
they learn to scan. Okay. Got you located. <laughs> See anything? You mean it. Couldn't hit him. Their helmets are as thick as machine plating. Bandits aren't subtle. Clearing them out would send a different kind of message. the alarm. Better keep an eye on it. Uh oh, could be a stick. She's up Me? on high. I'm gonna check that out.
down fools Smells peaceful. I hate peace. A lot of people die peacefully. Not me. I got a feeling. Search the camp. You missed a spot big enough for a trampler! Show your face so I can slice it off. I'll finish you! Uh. Time for you! You won't survive this! Afraid to die. Hey, hey, hey. Won't be long before the Werak finds out I took out the bandit camp. In fact, I'll bet my name's all over Song's Edge. Might be time to challenge Aratok.
be a one hunter where I My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet, part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Lorea, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratak. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost Figures, then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of a Banuke hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost figures, here I come. Frost figures. Aratok and Rhea must be close. Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. Will you let us go to Thunder's Drum? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get home with this. So be it! 
I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground. Enough! Let us begin. To hunt, to strive. That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well, yes. But as challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Gotta head up that mountain. Looks like there are a few ways to go up, and those rock paintings mark the path. Okay, up we go. Aloy, time's wasting. Almost to the top. All right, Challenger. You need to take off the herd below. Every machine. Kill a herd. Okay, I can do that.
Construction marker! <gasps> All right, here we go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon! <sighs> Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Two Bellowbacks ahead, Challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Two dead Bellowbacks coming up. Not the marker. Come on over here and launch your balloon. I'm ahead, but only by a little. I gotta get moving. Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. down all right to the last challenge
Something's wrong. My kin should be here. Driving in our final quarry. They're right behind us! <laughs>
So it's true. Frost Claws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines, not I. It is proven. She is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted, but only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch, it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. A new outfit. And a weapon like our box. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum. Forget about traveling light. I've never traveled further south than the Grave Horde. In the old days, the Mad Sun Outland King made doing so impossible. It would be my honor to speak with you. The machine spirits may be... Long Notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more Frost Claws. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. 
But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course... Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines, tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pit in the sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit. But it was blocked by a great door. Some kind of cauldron. New metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted. No way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Array to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. Deep in. Eloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit, and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider, someone ignorant of our ways, but no, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it, and so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him, worried for him. Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can 
order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Ban Or from the distant north, the young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen, holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone. As though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off, but you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. It hasn't been easy for you, Horea, getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready, then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother! So you see, I too can call upon the power of the Old Ones. What was this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from terrible danger. A fortress? It looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? Moonlight often dwells in machines. Let's just hope that some remains here.
I'm higher, and our path will become clear. If the chieftain's pace is measured, ours is measured. Last we were here, we fought our way through there. The machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. Even so, we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. All right, I get the options. Now follow my lead. Pipes, towers, steam, frost. Who was on this floor? I went this way years ago, looking for cover in case machines came back. I have no doubt that it is guarded now, but I may be able to stay. The whole threat's coming. Beware of stalkers. as we move through. This will be useful later. It's cold. As if there's chill water running through those massive pipes. Why?
of the demon must not prevail! There's a door up ahead, and refuge. We're almost through. this projector thank you for being here everyone i suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano right <laughs> unless you're george and i can hardly blame him for drinking on the job <laughs> none of this would be here without our beloved director Kenny Chow. So, here's to you, Kenny. <laughs> you put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. Two <laughs> glasses, everyone. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us a real mastermind. Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. All right, Cyan. What's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> <laughs> well, then drink up, everyone. Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption. <laughs> It was the spirit, the old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Aurea. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked, as for the spirit. I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through.
do. Machines. Make ready.
Now, Aloy, the door. Let's find out. Years have passed since I stood here. Since then, the daemon has... ...taken over. It's like an infection. Attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed. It's twisted. The path I took to get to the spirits... ...lost to us. We'll find a new path, Araya. I promise. All right. Let's go. Yes. And finish this. All right. Down we go. This way. Stay only as long as we have to. Well, we'll need to get past that vent. Stay here until I find a way for all of us to cross. Understood. I can't see a way to close the vent from here. I'll have to go over. I wonder if I can destroy that. These conveyors should get me across. Oh, she's in the air. <clears throat> now to shut off that vent. Circular device. What does it do? Okay, let's see what this does. Did it. 
Here they come. Looks like I need to get across to extend the bridge. Okay, let's get them across. Come on over, it's safe. I think. This place looks more like the mountain used to be, where the demon ruined it. Exploit successful. Restraints abated. To any human responder. My systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build positive facilities. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to their the spirit speaks to us. It's a recording. And a warning. Hephaestus. But it was part of Zero Dawn, part of Gaia. This name is familiar to you? Uh, yes, but I don't know what it's doing here. Perhaps the spirit will tell us if it left more messages. Maybe you're right. Let's keep moving. Try to find a way through.
should do it. No time to gloat over our victory. We must move forward. It's my And another console. To any human responder, the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the daemon, and it may have found one. Machine parts, dumped here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across that gap. Yeah, looks like I'll have to go over. Again.
These things go sideways, too. Don't look too stable. Grab a ride.
Sailors will have a lot easier time getting here. Both. But we have to find out. Possible security threat detected. Analyzing scrutiny matrix. Security threat confirmed.
It worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the Blue Light, it's Orea, your servant, your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Orea, the daemon is building hunter killers, thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core chain. I will try to remove the sudden constraint. One has been exposed, but I am <sighs> Unauthorized protocol returned. Scheduled task. all we're gonna get from here destroy this fortress is that even possible and what will happen to the spirit if we do I don't know but I think that's the core the answers are down there Hephaestus the daemon there's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I would ask you... ...to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. Then lead us into battle. Keep moving towards the core. Uh oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Science said something about restraints. Is that what the tower is for? Cyan warned us about. This won't be easy. We can't let it stop us. Take it down!
I'm repairing the beast!
tower. Please help me! Restraints destroyed. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the Auxiliary Data Center. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Oh. My sister! This entire place is gonna go. Aratok! Aratok! Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. I need explosive ammo! A bomb! Quick! Great Badukai!
Rhea's gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the Auxiliary Center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the Shaman's Path. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. The Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like, Aratak, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. Cyan, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Was the Daemon Hephaestus? Destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there, and probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. 
I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate, that you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry. That sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, Fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. But what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions of people, hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel... Substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? That's him. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. A benefactor? But he made machines. Robots. War robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. And Elizabeth Sobek. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. What was the old world like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues, or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity, capable of rational decision-making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, 
In solitude, I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems, but I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. I trust your judgment, Cyan. You were cautious with Aurea. You had to be. You didn't know what had happened to the world. So, keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity, I cannot predict how they will react. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. See how he's doing. Chieftain. Just Eloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought that if I'd never come along, Araya might still. If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way. I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Aurea found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now, I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratak. And where I'm going, Warak can't follow. Besides, we'd already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, for the path we shared. The daemon is gone. But there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now Tuke has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically the nuke. It would seem your time among the Banuke wasn't a waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. So, the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too, and unleashed them on the world. His minds on their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Aberrant life. 
transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. We won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion's concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. <laughs>